Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my YouTube channel if you're new. I'm so happy to have you here. In today's video, I'm so excited because it's actually the first ever video that I've done like this and it's a monthly favourites video. So obviously we've just been through the month of March and we're all stuck in quarantine so I thought it would be a really fun idea just to show you some of the things I've been loving this month and that have been helping me through the month of March. And this video is going to include some beauty, health, lifestyle, fashion and skin and hair care products. So I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I'd also love to have you around for the long term. So feel free to subscribe to my channel. So the first thing that I want to share with you guys is actually something that I've been using probably for the last couple of months now. And I've genuinely been noticing a real difference. And the favorite that I'm talking about are these. These are, oh my God, I need to them. <laughs> these are um, blue light protecting glasses and if you're like me and you spend a lot of the time at a computer screen then the blue light can be quite damaging for your eyes so I'd actually heard a lot about these blue light glasses and I'd always been a bit skeptical because you hear things don't you and you think oh that's probably not actually going to be the case but genuinely they are so so good and they really help protect protect your eyes against the emission of the blue light. Um, I wear them when I'm on my laptop, if I'm on my phone sometimes I'll stick them on um, and they also look cool too. <laughs> so I actually got these ones from Amazon, um, I'll link them down below if I can still find them. They were literally like £15 or something so they were super affordable, they also do lots of different styles as well if this isn't your style. Um, but yeah, I've been loving these. The second thing I've been absolutely loving is this and this is a cleanser from Bare Minerals and I am a bit, well, I'm a bit of a skincare fail, probably is the right word. Um, I always take my makeup off with micellar water but after I've done that I don't tend to do anything else. Um, but I've got into a habit over the last month of taking off my makeup after I've done my micellar water with cleanser. So what I normally do is I take off my makeup with my micellar water and a cotton pad and then I don't put any water or anything on my face. I just take a bit of this cleanser, rub it into my face um, and then dab it with a bit of hot water to rub it in a bit more and then wash it off with a muslin cloth and it's honestly, it feels so, so lovely on my skin. And um, I've gone for the coconut and prickly pear one, which is for sensitive skin, because my skin can be a bit temperamental. Um, but it smells amazing, it feels lovely, and it makes your skin feel really, really fresh. Um, so yeah, so I've been loving this, and I have been very good at cleansing. <laughs> so after I've cleansed, I will also normally now add on to my skin. Um, this, this is from The Ordinary, I'm sure you've heard of them. Um, you can get these products from ASOS, which is amazing amazing but I use the hyaluronic acid I've got two percent here um plus vitamin 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 b5 and it's really really lovely because um these bot bottles are so tiny and they're really cute as well um, but you just take a little dropper like this and drop it straight onto your skin um and then massage it in before any moisturizer or anything and I just find it kind of leaves my skin feeling a bit fresher, um, a bit newer, and maybe it's speeding up the renew process, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I did really like using this, so and it's really affordable as well for what it is, so I recommend adding this to your skincare routine if you're looking for something new. Now, staying along the makeup lines, I have been loving Bare Minerals this month. Um, recently, I picked up this, which is their Powder Original Foundation, and I got it in the shade Fairly Light um, 03, and it's an SPF foundation, which is amazing, um, but I was really, really skeptical because I normally use, and I am actually using today, <laughs> um, a Huda Beauty foundation, and it's a liquid, so I just brush it off with the brush, um, but this one being a powder, I have combination skin, but it's mainly dry. Um, so I was a bit skeptical about using a powder on my face, but I have been so, so impressed. Look how much I've used it. Oh, I have been so, so impressed with actually how good this powder is. 
And what I normally do is I normally moisturise my face to begin with really, really well. And then I tip a bit of this out into the lid, swirl it around with a brush and then brush it over my skin. And the coverage is amazing. The coverage is so, so impressive given that it is a powder. Um, I do find that sometimes towards the end of the day, my skin is looking a bit kind of, you know, it looks a bit flaky when it's a bit dry. Um, so I am having to just maybe like top up a little bit, but generally on the whole, this foundation has been so good and I'm genuinely impressed by it. So I'm absolutely loving this foundation. I am using, or I'm trying to use it more often because it is much better for my skin because it's only got a couple of ingredients in. Um, but yeah, I'm loving it. Another monthly favourite is this Too Faced Highlighter Palette. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so nice. I am using the shade um, Blended by the Light and it is just a powder highlighter, as you can see with a little mirror. And it's absolutely stunning. I'm wearing it today. I wear it every single day. If you follow me on Instagram, this is the highlighter that I wear in my pictures as well. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I wear it on my nose, on under my cheekbones, at basically any part of my face that is just a little bit higher where the sunlight would naturally reflect. And it's a lovely, lovely colour. It's lasted me ages as well, considering I use it every single day. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. It's from Too Faced. I'll link it back down below if I can find it. Now, I know being stuck in quarantine is doing a lot of good for a lot of people's hair, including mine. And I have actually been loving this Botanical Shine Nourishing Hair Oil from Liz Earl. And I've been using this, um, I haven't been using it as much as I should, but I keep forgetting. Um, but when I do use it, it's so lovely. I add it in just to the ends of my hair where my hair is wet before I blow dry it. Or at the moment, to be honest, I'm probably just leaving it to dry because we're all inside. Um, but it's got Kalahari melon oil, coconut oil and a radish seed oil. Didn't even know that was a thing. But it smells amazing and it's really lightweight and it doesn't like bog your hair down like some other hair oils. Um, I'm guessing you can probably add this in and maybe use it as like an overnight mask as well if you want to. But it leaves your hair smelling amazing and feeling really silky and healthy as well. So would highly recommend if you're looking for a new hair oil to try. Okay, moving on to health now. I have been stuck in a bit of a rut in quarantine and I'm not gonna lie, the first week all I ate was rubbish. <laughs> all I ate was processed rubbish and I felt terrible for it. I felt really bad. I felt bloated, sluggish, all the rest of it, you know the drill. Um, but I rediscovered a book that I had on my bookshelf at home and it is this one from Amelia Freer. It is the Nourish and Glow, the 10 day plan. Now, I'm not necessarily following the plan, but I am using her recipes as inspiration. And oh my goodness, this is such a good book. If you're looking for something that is gonna educate you, inspire you and motivate you, just to eat a little, little bit healthier, and it basically helps you cut out all of the rubbish that's in your diet. Um, and it helps you cut out all the rubbishy foods that you would normally just eat without even thinking about it. And it encourages you to eat foods that are whole foods and that kind of can be found naturally. So it pulls together some really, really delicious recipes, um, which I just love. I've been finding so much inspiration from this book at the moment. Um, they're just really healthy, kind of mostly plant-based recipes as well. And they're so, so good for you and they taste amazing. So if you are looking for a new kind of cookbook to maybe like reignite um, your love of like real kind of whole foods, then I would highly recommend this. It's really easy to follow and full of delicious recipes as you can see. Um, so yeah, I've been loving that at the moment. And finally onto fashion and accessories. This bag is one of my favourite bags I think I've ever bought. And um, it's not fancy, it's not designer, it's not anything like that. It is from H&M, it was £35 and I absolutely love it. I can't wait to go on holiday somewhere and be out and about or go to the beach or something and take this bag with me because it's absolutely gorgeous. It's just the perfect beach bag or like pool party bag or something. 
absolutely love it, it's gorgeous, and um, yeah, it's from H&M. The other thing that I've been loving, I've been wearing them in my ears very, very regularly, and it, it is these earrings. These are from a company that I actually found on Instagram, and they're called Chaya Jewelry. Um, I'll leave their link down below and leave the handle on the screen if I remember. Um, but these are the earrings, and they are literally just, they're just one earring, but it looks as if you've got like three chunky gold hoops, um, and I love a really chunky gold hoop at the moment, so these earrings I've been wearing all the time and I absolutely love them and yeah they're great <laughs> and then the final couple of things are actually the things that I'm wearing right now so this long sleeve top if you have seen my ASOS haul which may or may not be up before this video I'm not sure um but it's from ASOS but it's from New Look um it's really really affordable and it's just this very plain white long sleeve top but it has this really cute kind of it's quite structured actually detail here which I think is just really flattering um for your neckline and it feels so soft as well and I love it and the other thing is these joggers now these joggers are I believe from misguided yes these joggers are from misguided and they are also one of my monthly favorites and they are just this gorgeous gorgeous salmon color and I absolutely love them and that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys today for my March monthly favourites. I do really hope you've enjoyed this video. It's something a little bit different, but I think it's really fun to watch these kind of videos because it gives me ideas and inspiration of things that maybe I could try. And if someone else has tried it and is loving it, then hopefully I can try it and love it too. So hopefully you guys get the same kind of inspiration from this video. If you did enjoy it, then give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you're new for new videos every single Wednesday and Sunday. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.